In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Podia to create your first online course. Now, Podia is a learning management system and it's one of the best out there. So without any further ado, let's jump into the topic. Hello and welcome to the Bindery IQ. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss out any of our future videos. With that said, let's jump into Podia. So this is what Podia website looks like. And in order to start with Podia, all you have to do is click here to get started for free, or you can hit right here to start a free trial. I'll just click on start free trial. This way you can simply use Podia for 14 days. If you find it helpful, you can continue with it. If not, you can move on to other options. So all you have to do is provide your name, provide your email and provide your password. And that's it. No credit card required right now. After 14 days, if you like it, you can of course, of course, go ahead and purchase it. What I've done is already signed up for a new account. I'll simply go to login and I'll log in. So once you are inside Podia for the first time, you'll see a message right here, which will keep reminding you that your free trial is ending in 14 days. Now Podia comes with three offers. I'll take you through the offers itself. I'll just click on upgrade now. There is a neat little video for you to decide. There are three plans which come with Podia. The first one is mover plan. The second one is shaker and the third one is earthquaker. If you're starting off, I would suggest using mover because most of the things are available in mover. However, if you are going to be using the options of affiliate marketing, in that case, you'll be needing it. So the major difference between mover and shaker is going to be right here in the membership part. So using the shaker plan, you cannot, you can sell a membership. However, with mover, you cannot. Also, there is the option of affiliate marketing, which I find very helpful. And this is not available with mover plan as well. So they, these are the few things which you'll miss out. In my opinion, just start off with a mover plan. If you are really interested in creating an old course right now, I'm on the shaker plan. Once you are trying out Podia for 14 days, you get all the options for free. That is you're getting a shaker plan in essence. So right now you will be able to see that membership is available and the affiliate option is available. However, once you are done with the 14 day plan and you want, if you move on to the mover plan, those options will be gone. So decide whatever plan you want. Uh, the link to the web website is in the description below. I'll go to the dashboard quickly. In this video, what we'll essentially do is simply create a course, an online course. I've created a demo course for you to uh, follow through. If you have your own videos and documents ready, you can do that as well. So this is going to be the course which I'll be creating. So it will consist of an introduction video. It will consist of two modules. Each module will have a certain lessons inside it. So for example, module one has two videos inside it and module two has two documents inside it. Finally, we'll have a quiz as well. So this is what we'll be creating in this video. Let's go ahead and do that. Inside Podia, there are different ways of doing the same thing. So in order to create any product, you have you can simply go to right here where, where it says product. Inside here, you can create a product or if you were on the dashboard itself, you have the option of create right here. So either way takes you right there. In this case, I'll just simply click on product. Now there are four different types of products you can create with Podia. The first one is the online course. The second one is digital download. The third one is you can sell your webinar. And the fourth one is a combination of the above. So you can create a bundle and sell it. In this case, we are just talking about online course. We'll touch upon the other options in the next video. So I'll quickly write out the name of my product. I'll just copy it right from my notion page. I'll just paste it right here. Select the first option online course, click on create product. Just like that, my course has been created. Now, right now it's empty. As you can see, there are no lessons or sections yet, but we'll be doing that right now. Now in order to create content, there are four ways of doing it. So you can just add some text in your lesson you can add a link that could be a youtube link or a vimeo link or any other link for that matter you can add a quiz or you can choose your own file the best way of creating a video course would be choosing your own file because that way your course is hosted on podia itself and you do not have to purchase any other service for doing that also you'll have complete control over the content itself finally the security of podia is very good so downloading your content will be very very hard so let's go ahead and add my first section or my first lesson. So first lesson is called introduction video. I'll simply copy the name, go back inside lessons. I'll click on the last option, which says choose file. 
I'll click on introduction video. So this is the video I want to upload. And just like that, my first lesson is being created. So if you do not like the name which has .mp4 or you do not like the file name, you can simply click on this name right here and change it to whatever you want. So in this case, if I just wanted it to be named as an introduction video, all I'll do is paste introduction video. You can also choose your video thumbnails, but in my case, that is not really important right now. You can also choose captions for each video. Finally, you can add some text content if you want to. In this case, I simply want a video file as my first introduction video. My course outline consists of two modules now. So a module would be a section which will consist of lessons inside it. So in this case, I'll be creating two sections quickly. In order to create a section, we just move down to where it says new section. I'll just click on it. I'll go back to my section name. I'll copy the section name from right here and paste it right here. So this is my section one title created. Inside the description, you can write whatever description you want. There is an option of delay as well. So if you want your content to be available in a drip fashion. So for example, if you wanted the first section to be available right away to the student, the sec second section to be available, say after three days, the third section to be available after say seven days, you can do that in Podia as well. So all, all you have to do is click on section is delayed by and you can add the number of days from the access date. In this case, I'll leave the option to be available immediately and I'll click on save. So now you can see my first module is created before adding lessons. I'll create a new section or a new module. I'll go back, copy the name. I'll paste the name. I won't be changing anything else. I'll click on save. So just like that, I have my two modules created. My final module will be the quiz module. So let me do that as well. So I'll just give it the name as quiz, click on save and just like that, I'm done. So I have my three modules and a video created in the module one. I'll add two lessons. So the first lesson is going to be a, again a video file, which I'll be uploading. So let me do that. I'll copy the name from right here, create a new lesson. I can use a drop down from right here. I'll use choose file. I'll just choose this file, click on open, let it upload. So my file is uploaded. I would like to change my, change the name of this file again. I'll just click on the file itself remove this and paste the name again you can add thumbnails and captions if you want i'll just leave the options to the default click on save so my first module has the first lesson done the second lesson what i'll do is instead of creating or uploading another video what i'll do is use the link option just to show you so inside news lesson instead of using the choose file option i'll use the add link option let me click on it this gives me the option of adding a title what I'll do is add this title in the link option. You can provide whatever link you want. In this case, I'll be providing a YouTube video link. So I'll just go back to YouTube, copy this link right here and I'll paste it in the content. You can put any content you want. So I'll just put in YouTube video link from the binary IQ. I'll leave other options as it is for now. Click on save. You can see my two options or two videos are done. One is a video which I uploaded. The other one is a video from YouTube. In the module two, what I have is a few text files. So I have a list of hardware. I'll just simply copy the name of this lesson. Go back, create a new lesson. In this case, I'll be adding a text. So I'll just add text, paste in the name, list of hardware and inside the text itself, I'll copy this entire text and I'll go back and paste it right here. Now, if you want to add a link inside your text, for example, if I wanted to sh give you the link to this uh, Blue Yeti USB microphone to purchase from Amazon, I can go to Amazon, copy the link to this product, go back, select whatever part you want to make as a link. With this, you can select this link option right here and paste in the URL. I'll just hit on link. If you wanted to bold anything, you can do that. And just like that, it's done. So I'll just click on save again. Let's quickly add the last part, which is going to be again a text file. I'll go back to my content, which is going to be list of software. I'll just copy the name first. I'll paste it right here inside the text. I'll just copy the text and paste it right here. I'll just click on save. So my second module is done as well, which consists of two text files. Now let's add a quiz quickly. 
inside the quiz section i'll just simply select new lesson and i'll add a quiz so let me add a title first i'll go back to my quiz so my quiz is named challenge your concepts i'll copy that i'll paste it right here i'll add a new question so this is going to my question number one i'll copy it and i'll paste it right here inside the answers i'll just quickly copy and paste the answers In order to add more options, you can simply add new answer option right here. In this case, I just have three options to choose from. So I'll just remove this option by clicking this X right here. I can choose whichever is the right answer. In this case, say C is the right answer. I'll just cl click on create question. So my first question is done. Let's create another question. I'll just copy the question. Go back, click on new question. I'll paste it right here. This is going to be a true false. I'll just add true right here and false in the other option. I'll remove the third option because I don't need it. So in this case, say this one is the right answer. By the way, you can see I can choose both of them as right, which means that this is not only a single choice question, but you can have multiple right answers as well. In this case, of course, both true and false cannot be true. So I'll just click on create question. Just like that, I have my quiz ready. I'll click on done to get out of this. So our course is done. Let's add some other details and pricing options from the other options available right here. In order to add some details, you can simply click on this detail option right here. This is the name. You can change the name. You can add a category. So if you have a lot of courses on your website, you can add a category for it. So for example, this one could be course creation. Click on new category create and I have the course creation category created. I can just simply select it now and that will become a category for this course. So if you create more courses in the future, which are based around course creation, you can simply add it to the category. Now you have the option of making comments visible. So if you want your students to post comments on your videos, you can do that. It's helpful in some kinds of videos and it's not so helpful in others. In this case, I'll just keep it as hidden. There is another option of keeping it as locked. So if you have run your course for a while and you do not want new comments to be posted, you can use this option. In this case, I'll be using the hidden option. You can also add integrations. I'll go through integrations in another video. Let's move on to the pricing. Now in order to add pricing, you'll have to first connect it to your PayPal or Stripe account. So I'll leave that part in this video. I'll be showing how to connect Stripe and PayPal in the next video. So this course is going to be free for now what I'll do inside availability uh, before moving on to that there is an option of upsell as well so if you're trying to sell your course and if you have some other courses which are linked to that or you can recommend that course during the checkout you can add it right here that actually increases your average order value I'll leave those options now because right now I do not have another course anyways I'll move on to the availability this is where you decide what is the status of your course Either it is available for purchase, you're pre-launching it or you are having it as a draft right now. Now, the difference between pre-launch and published is that this is available right away for purchase. However, pre-launch is only available for email signup. So people who come to your course sales page will see an email signup. So anyone who is interested can give you the email. This is a great way to pre-sell your course. However, I find the pre-selling option much better by using this published option. So you are making it available for purchase. However, in the start date of the course, you can change the start date to a future date. You can, instead of giving the access immediately, you can say give an access instead of June 3 to say July 3rd. So you have one month before you are actually launching the course. However, you're giving the option to your audience to be able to make that purchase. It's a great way to start off a course. It gets your proof of concept that people are actually interested in buying whatever you're trying to teach or not. That is how I started with and that is how I would recommend for you to start with. So always go with published, available for purchase and set a start date, which is a month later. Ask your audience about the topic, tell them what you're trying to make and if they're actually interested, they'll pre-buy your course. The next is the access. So if you have already made a few purchases and you do not want to make any other purchases or you do not want to sell it further, you can make the enrollment closed. However, in this case, I'll just leave everything to be open. Visibility is whether everyone can see the product on your website. So if you want this 
product to be hidden you can use the option of hidden which makes it not visible in the site or the audience dashboard in this case again i'll leave it to visible and i'll just leave the other options as well these are the four options to see now in order to access this course you can either join this course or there is a neat little option right here if i just click on this button you can view this course as a customer as well as as a visitor in this case i'll be first looking at it as a customer i'll just click on it so this is how the course looks like so you can see the contents right here this is my first video this is my module one this is my module two which consists of two videos each. so if i just click on this contents you can see my first content or the first section by or the default section is the introduction video if i click on introduction video you can see the introduction video will start if i just click on it it will start playing so i'll just stop it in order to move on to the next video all you all you have to do is click on this button right here which says content creation roadmap which takes me to the next video on the left if you can see if you want to see what is inside your module one you can just click on it you can see that there are two videos inside module one one is a four minute video because this is the uploaded video the second one is a youtube video so i'll actually go through the videos one by one so i'll use the introduction video first say i'm done with the video i can click on this content creation roadmap right here it takes me to the next video as well as it crosses off the video from right here which tells me that i've already watched it now i'm inside the second video i can watch this as well and once i'm done watching it i can move on to the next video as well so let me click on the next again as you can see this is crossed off on the left side this video was where i uploaded a video youtube link and i just put a content so content is displayed at the bottom and video is uploaded at or visible at the top the only problem with embedding links of youtube is that say if i am done with the video so after the video ends you'll see that i get recommendations from youtube and if i click on any of one of these i'll be taken to the youtube website so hence it's a better option to actually use the upload option in podia you can actually create your content and simply upload it onto podia and create a course that way let's move on to the next one so this is a list of hardware this is all the text and you can see this is the link which we put if i just click on this link i'm taken to the blue ethi sales page on amazon i'll just move on to the next this is the next one i'll click on challenge concepts but this won't be available because as you can see quizzes aren't available in the preview mode for this you'll have to actually create a account join the course and then do it so before creating an account to see the quiz itself let's see this course as a visitor so i'll just click on view as visitor so this is how the sales page looks like it's looking terrible i know but that's what we'll be doing in the next video we'll be creating the sales page however in this case you can see that there is a heading with the course title and the option of getting the access for free it also tells you what's included in the course it will give you the introduction video and the modules and it's not showing the quiz right now because the quiz was hidden anyways so what i'll do is click on get access for free i'll put in my email i'll accept and i'll click on continue just like that i'll just confirm and i'm inside this course so all i have to do is put in my name so now i'm inside the course so all i can do is start the course so this is how you create an online course in podia and there are other options as well which we'll explore in the upcoming videos so if you like this video on how to create a course in podia do leave a feedback in the comments below i'm trying to make a series on all the aspects of podia and in my opinion this is one of the best learning management softwares out there i've used many of those learning management systems in the past this one is the cheapest and this one is probably the best i would highly recommend using it if you are going to create an online course in the near future with that said do subscribe and hit that notification bell because i'll be coming up with content related to podia very soon and this is going to be an entire series where i'll talk about all the aspects of podia so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching this video i'll see you on the next one